Okay, a guy on YouTube, I don't know how to say it right, probably Bipith. But anyway, he wanted to know how to make a one amp panel. Well, it just so happens I made a one amp panel. And I believe it, it measures up. Uh, there's 36 of these cells. And I think they're two by threes. Yeah, they're two by threes. There's 36 of them. And just something I made on this piece of glass that was about 17 by 27 or so. 17 by 27. That's how I'd make it. I um, have this glass. Uh, where did I get this glass? It's some kind of furniture. I think it's a It's a, it comes off a, it's a door off the of entertainment center is what I think it is. But anyway, those are the measurements. And, uh, you just link your cells together. 36 of them, two by threes, that's what I would do. And this is, uh, some metal that I got at Lowe's. It's, a uh, inch and a half. Angle aluminum, but uh, you just get you some L brackets. You see the L brackets, and you cut some 45s, and then I got some little L brackets holding the glass in. But anyway, that's how you would do it. Get you some solar tide or something. But that one makes a, a better than a one amp. It's a pretty good panel. Probably lasts a long, long time. It's sealed real well. It, it, uh, I use it a lot to like charge up a a battery on my truck or a car. Or if something goes dead on a vehicle or even a boat battery or anything, you can hook that on there. In a day or two days, depending on how low the battery is, it will charge it right up. But I have hooked those up to the, I have hooked this up to a computer fan, and it'll run a computer fan real well. So I'm sure it'll work great for your solar heater. But anyway, that's what I would use. I don't know if you got those measurements. That's two by three cells, and there's 36 of them, and uh, this is inch and a half angle aluminum, and. Uh, it's a 17 and three quarters by now this is the outside diameter your glass is smaller I make my glass a lot smaller by about 28 27 and a half but it doesn't really touch the side I mean there's there's a gap like a 3 eighths gap at the edge but anyway, you get the idea, I hope. I hope that helps. That's what I would use. 36 uh, 2 by 3 cells. I think I got those from solarcells101.com. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, all, all these are putting uh, 95 watts into the grid. Yeehaw.